All right, we got Golazo Hero Enzo Frenscoli. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has four star skill moves with the five star weak foot, high low work rates, and he is 5'11. Current acceleration type is mostly explosive 91 pace, 92 shooting, 87 passing, 93 dribbling, 75 physical. We do dive into his in game stats. It's pretty clear that this guy looks like he's going to be an absolute beast in this game. Right off the bat, let's get right into it. The recommended country style for this card is going to be that finisher. Just so you can max out his shooting and his dribbling as much as possible. You're probably thinking, Cam, why don't you go for the pace upgrade as well? Maybe a hunter or even engine. But in my opinion, you should really prioritize the shooting and the dribbling with this player. And I will explain why. First of all, when we do take a look at his shooting, he has really good shooting stats. When we do take a look at his shooting, he has really good base shooting stats. And 90 attack and positioning, 94 finishing, 90 shot power, and 91 long shots. But in my opinion, with a specific play style plus that he has, and we will get into that later, the way this card is going to be the most effective as possible is if you really upgrade his shooting to the best it could possibly be. So with the plus A to his attack and positioning, bringing it from 90 all the way up to 98, it's going to help him with his AI. It's going to put this guy in really good positions on top and inside the box. It's going to make him make the right runs in behind the back line. It's going to make his AI feel smart, and that's exactly what you need out of a striker in this game. Also, his finishing does get a plus 5, so it's going to go from 94 all the way up to 99. That's going to be the absolute key when it does come to this card, in my opinion. I think this card's finishing has the potential to be absolutely fantastic. And along with that, with the shot power, you do get a plus four. So with the upgrades to both his finishing and his shot power, it's really going to complement this card's shooting a whole lot, guys. Like I mentioned before, there is a specific play style that is very important with this card. And that's why I think you should really prioritize upgrading his shooting. Now, he also does got 91 long shots. Definitely going to help out this card especially for him to be effective outside the box with that playstyle i am talking about along with the finisher like how i mentioned you also do get some really key upgrades to his dribbling his base dribbling stats are phenomenal guys 93 agility 88 bounce 91 reactions 93 ball control 93 dribbling 92 composure i just think for a card to be that versatile and this card definitely has that potential if you can really improve his dribbling stats to the best it could possibly be, it can make this card 10 times better than what his card stats actually perceive him to be. Now, with the finisher, he gets a plus 6 to his agility, a plus 4 to his bounce, and a plus 6 to his dribbling. Bringing his agility from 93 all the way up to 99, his bounce from 88 all the way up to 92, and his dribbling from 93 all the way up to 99. Since he is 5'11", and that is a pretty good height in this game, that already tells me that with these dribbling upgrades, I honestly do believe this guy's Lessig dribbling is going to be amazing. I expect him to be really responsive on the ball, and that's a part of the meta, guys. So I'm really hoping that is the case. I'm really hoping this game doesn't decide to be f garbage today and have the gameplay go into absolute shambles. But besides that, I expect this guy's Lessig dribbling to be really effective, and I cannot wait to try it out. Now, let's get into his pace, guys. He has 91 pace and 92 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. Once again, you're probably thinking, Cam, why don't you add like a hunter to his card so you can also upgrade his pace and his shooting? Or even engine where you can upgrade his dribbling and his pace as well. I honestly do think for a card like this, I think 91 pace is quick enough. 92 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, in my opinion, is fantastic for a card like this. A lot of the times in this game now, your striker is going to be in those tight positions on top and inside the box. In most cases, since most players are parking the bus. That's why I think 91 pace for a card like this is absolutely fantastic. And it's honestly good enough. Now, if you are playing a player that is playing a high line, I guarantee you guys, 91 pace, once again, is going to be good enough for this guy to be really effective in space. So even if you want to play this guy in behind the back line into the right spaces, he will be able to do that. Because the other cards I've tried out in the past have had the exact same pace at them, and they're really good at it. So I honestly do think that his 91 pace, once again, is still really good for this card. When we do take a look at his play styles, he has 9 play styles and 2 play style pluses in the finesse shot plus and the incisive pass plus. This play style right here is the reason why I think you should max out his shooting as much as possible. When you combine that with the 5 star weak foot, guys, I'm telling you right now, this guy has the potential to be an amazing player in this game. Because of the finisher upgrade because of the five star weak foot and because of the finesse shot plus play style. Right foot, left foot, it does not matter with this card. Inside the box, outside the box, you can be really effective with this play style. It's gonna allow this guy to be extremely versatile when it does come to finishing. It will allow you to be really unpredictable when you are using this card. 
And I honestly do think this is the reason why this card is going to be so good. Also, he does got the incisive pass plus. Obviously, his main role in your team isn't necessarily supposed to be that playmaker. But for Striker to have a passing playstyle, yet alone a passing plus playstyle, specifically in the incisive pass, it could definitely help out in your build up and it could definitely help you out when it does come to creating chances you've got the power shot so if you are in some pretty good positions you could really utilize this he's got the dead ball so he's pretty good at free kicks he's got the first touch it's going to help him have that good first touch in those close quarter situations he's got the flare trait so it can definitely help out in your build up with those slick passes but also performs flare animations when contextually appropriate that's going to help out his dribbling he's also got the tactical play style which is something i'm really happy about his control dribbling is going to be really good. Combine that with his left stick dribbling, it could be a really big problem for your opponents in this game. He's got the quick step, so if you can really utilize that explosive sprint, it can also be really effective. And he also does got the acrobatic. Probably guessed it, but for this review, we will be trying him out in a 4-3-2-1 as our main striker. Just so he can be our main focal point in our attack and to also test out his attacking AI. So that means it runs in behind the back line spaces on top and inside the box and to also see if he does interchange positions with any of the right or left forward so with that being said let's hop into the gameplay with this card let's score some golasos with them and let's have a blast with the card and see how good he can really be Francis goalie golasso beautiful with the weak foot too puts him in space what a golazo, well done. Got a little bit lucky there, but still. The fact that he tackled him first and was able to be that accurate with the finesse shot, crazy. French's goalie, great space, great finish, look at that. Finesse, golazo, look at that, dude, my god. Even his dribbling is effective, dude. Or post, oh my god, that would've been so nice. The handball ref. Our post. Beautiful. Francis Goalie. Use that control dribbling. Use that control dribbling. Francis Goalie in space. Beats Ben Dyke. Oh, that's so unlucky. I had that finesse back post in my mind already. Francis Goalie, another great run in behind the back line. Orals inside. Finesse back post. Beautiful. Francis Goalie. Return. Great finish. Love that. Golasso. Let's get into him. Another great turn. Burba. Finesse. Oh my god, that would have been so nice. Probably a little less power in that finesse shot though. That is lovely. No! Oh my god, what a save by the keeper. What a goal. Lasso. Well done. Francis Goalie. Bounce it back. It gets on it. Finesse back post. It's saved by Courtois. Francis Goalie. Can't stop him. Of that, I'm noticing that he's putting himself in some really nice positions, guys. I think his AI is really smart, and I'm liking it a lot so far. Great pass to Dybala. Now he's out wide. Goes immediately back centrally. I like that. Oh my god, that would have been such a nice goal as well. Oh. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Oh, Golasso, well done. He just dismantled Van Dijk. My God. Golasso, well done. You guys are going to be hearing a lot of intervention sounds in this video, eh? Wow. Francis Goalie, great run. Hit by Varane. Finesse, beautiful. Golasso. Another Golasso, dude. This guy is nuts. Can we hit another one with them? Of course, oh my god, dude, that would have been so fun. Oh, that's unlucky, though. A little bit too much power in that one, I know that. Another great run, dude. I love his AI. He's picking up all the right spaces. Great turn. Groundskeeper, well done. All right, now let's pay attention to my guy Enzo's AI here. Right now, Dybala is a little bit more central on top of the box. That's okay. Picks up kind of like that wider area on the box. Still there. We bring it around. What happens? He goes back into his position. Perfect. I put it out wide. That ball is shorter. He's in his position now. Yeah, it looks like he's just consistently staying centrally, which is something I really like right now. Yeah, he's just staying centrally, guys. Nothing too crazy about it. As you guys saw earlier, though, he was making the right runs behind the back line. He picked up some good spaces on top of the box, so his AI is consistent, which is something I really like. That's a great run in there. Not going to play it, though. Let's see where he resets. 
Goes back in his position. Perfect. That's what I want. Okay, now Dybala centrally. Now he goes back into his position. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Slight change of position with another player. And then he goes right back. Yeah, see, he's back centrally. I love it, guys. I like his AI. Not really demonstrating too much there. Just all the simple stuff. And that's exactly what you need to find out with some players. Make sure that they do all the simple stuff correctly. All right, just goalie. Turn. Finish. Love that. Beautiful. Go oh, Francis goalie. Get across him. Borrow. Finesse. Love that. Beautiful. Golasso. All right, I'm going to come out and say it right off the bat. I think this card is absolutely amazing. It's definitely a card that you guys need to go out and pick up. So let's get into the reasons why I like this card so much. First of all, I think the best part about this card has to be his finishing, mainly because of this beautiful thing right here. If any card in this game has the finesse shot plus playstyle, you already know that that card's finishing is going to be absolutely amazing in this game. And because of the five star weak foot, and because of the finisher upgrade to his finishing, and also with his base long shots being at 91, it allows his finesse shots to be so good in this game. Left foot, right foot, it does not matter. It allows you to be so unpredictable when it does come to using this card. The versatility when it does come to finishing is insane as well. So make sure when you guys are using this card, get the right angles on top of the box, get the right angles outside the box, and it has a really good chance of going in. Inside the box, his finesse shots are completely automatic. It's like they go in 100% of the time. Just make sure you guys do get the right angles inside the box as well. Again, right foot, left foot, it does not matter. He's so clinical. And utilizing this playstyle with this card is so much fun to do, guys. I think his shot power with his regular shot definitely shows as well. I think it complements extremely well with his finishing. Also, his attacking AI boost definitely helped out his AI. He made the right runs. He picked up the right spaces. And that's something I was really happy about. I thought his dribbling was fantastic as well. I thought his lesser dribbling was extremely responsive. And you can really utilize it in those close quarter spaces inside the box to get you out of trouble. And to also create space for this card for a shot. When you combine his less sick dribbling with the controlled dribbling because of the technical playstyle, once again, like how I've been saying recently, the amount of space you can create is insane. And because he does have the finesse shot playstyle, once again, when you can create space with the less sick dribbling or the controlled dribbling into a finesse shot, that's a recipe for success. And it is absolutely broken in this game. I thought his pace at 91 is definitely good enough. You guys saw in the gameplay once he was in space. Not a lot of people were catching up to him. But I will say this. If you can really utilize the quick step and the explosive sprint, it helps this guy out a whole bunch as well. And also, when defenders were closing in on this guy, specifically center backs, if you can utilize the quick step and the explosive sprint to get that extra acceleration, the amount of space he can create between him and the defender is really good. And that can be really helpful as well. Don't really have to say much about his passing. Once again, it's not really his job. But since he does got the incisive pass plus, if you are in good positions to maybe perform a through ball into your wingers, it can definitely help out. But honestly, it's not really his strength, so don't really worry about it too much. So overall, guys, I need you guys to go out and pick up this card. I think this card is the closest he could possibly be to the meta for a cheap card. For 250k, it's an absolute bargain for this card. And he's only going to drop even more in price. If you guys do have the coins, I 100% recommend you guys go out and pick up this card. Absolute no-brainer. Thank me later. He'll score a lot of goals for you guys. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe for more EAFC content and for some more player reviews. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.